Okay, here's Baby X waking up. Now, Baby X can see me, it can see my expression. So we can uh, we can speak to her. Ooh, ooh, yeah, who's a cute little baby? You are, yes you are. She'll look at whatever's going on, so I can wave my hand around and she'll follow that around. I can play peekaboo with it. Here you go, boo. We can even abandon Baby X. It'll start getting stressed, the different Neuromodulators changing here, we're getting cortisol release and it's starting to cry and get upset. And so you can come in and comfort it. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I came back to the University of Auckland to do a project which was very experimental. We were trying to make computer system feel unrobotic by giving it sort of emotion, giving it expression, giving it a real emotional rapport with the people interacting with it. The types of models that we're, we're using are things like how the ocular motor system works, for example, how the brain drives the eyes to look at things. If I zoom in closer, you'll actually see the ocular motor system. So here are the different nuclei which are reacting. So when visual stimuli comes through, it goes through the, the optic pathway and it goes into the brain stem which fires off particular nuclei which move the eyes around to look at what it's paying attention to. So we've got this whole system which is running live in a using physiological models to basically create that movement and using biologically plausible information processing systems to create the nerve activity to create that. These are all based on current theoretical models. Now to put all these together we actually had to develop a special language. It's kind of like a, a, a building block system for creating an interconnected brain model. We're building a system which can gauge your reactions and then build in the appropriate response. Now that has an enormous potential over a whole range of fields. We can look at things like any type of simulation technology, like for example, say it could be a civil defence emergency. So how would you train people to react with a very stressed out person, for example, with things like psychology research, because we can build human stimuli which people react with that we can precisely control, which you can't do with video or other means. This work can create a new type of human computer interaction technology which can be used essentially to build a new media. And if we generate that technology here and we have the you know the leading edge in that technology, then I think we can revolutionise how people interact with electronic media.